Hi, it's Z here. Today I wanted to share a Python based web app that I created that helps you analyze um, text, either text that you put in or text from a URL. And I built this because I've been writing on Medium for some time now. I wanted to find a way that I could use data science and machine learning techniques to improve my writing. So how it works is uh, I have the app running now in the background and I've uh, um, put it on a uh, Microsoft Edge browser. Um, you can use it with uh, Google Chrome or whatever you want. Um, and I'm just going to use one of my existing articles. So I'm just going to grab this and you stick the URL in and you submit the URL. And what it's going to do is it's going to go and grab uh, the URL content, scrape it, and clean it, and then uh, process it to generate some high-level metrics. So you'll see what I mean in a sec. So as you can see, what it does is it generates a simple word cloud uh, to give you a few of what's the article. Uh, it kind of makes sense because it's got Power BI, it says Excel, and the article was in fact about a Power BI dashboard. Uh, it gives the publish date, tells you the URL, uh, any text associated with it. Uh, it also picks out the three most frequently occurring words in a sentence. Uh, it's funny that I'm successfully trying to is a phrase that apparently I use more than once. Uh, it's got word counts for the overall article and also the title and uh, some other metrics like uh, sentiment analysis, polarity and subjectivity tells you whether you use positive or negative words. And also, I've uh, made use of some existing models that I found online um, that do personality analysis. And this is the Myers-Briggs type analysis, uh, where this is saying that uh, I am a ESPJ, apparently. Uh, it's not totally accurate. And uh, I've got something similar for um, the big five traits as well. Uh, and this is all based on keyword analysis of the text. So, so far, uh, this is interesting, but uh, not super useful because if I want to dive in and understand what's going on uh, as to why the overall score is the way it is, um, it doesn't say anything. So I've created a follow on page where if you click this, I'm just thinking. It returns a sentence-by-sentence uh, -sentence breakdown telling you the word count, readability scores. So this is a flash uh, ease of reading score. Um, and this is polarity and subjectivity. And uh, it goes down to a sentence-by-sentence -sentence level. And uh, there are also some charts at the bottom that tell you which part of the article is uh, has a high word count or uh, high polarity, so on and so forth. Um, now, um, one last bit that I also added to this is a feature that uh, does the popularity predictions in terms of uh, estimating the number of claps that uh, the article will receive. So let's run this, see what comes up. So uh, fortunately, this thing predicts that the article will have uh, very low number of claps um, and <laughs> it's supposed to have 37 claps it actually has i think zero <laughs> uh, and in six months you have 84. Um, word of caution this model isn't perfect but uh, I, I think it was a uh, interesting exercise anyway to create it uh, and rather than just tell you a number what i've also done is i've written some code that takes your individual article and compares it to uh, a reference data set of about 200 data science related articles that I scraped from towards data science and analytics videos, um, medium front pages. So for example, this one tells you that you've got too many words in the title count. Uh, and if you look at articles that have more than 5,000 words, uh, they typically have this sort of range. So this is really sitting at the top range. Uh, and Doing this sort of box whisker plot gives you a very quick way of uh, having insight into uh, how the um, article compares against uh, other, other articles. 
Now, what I've also included is a feature where you can compare two web pages. So this was the original one above, and I've just put in a random web page. Um, apologies to the author. And the web app returns a side-by-side -side comparison where it analyzes a semantic similarity between the two documents. And it does this using something called um, word embedding. And uh, it says that these two articles are only 25, 24% similar. It provides a very quick overview in terms of uh, the same sort of format you saw a moment ago. Uh, two sort of word clouds side by side uh, and the information uh, laid out in this particular way. Uh, you can compare personality types between the authors. I'm not sure whether that's useful, but it's just something that uh, I added in. So. Um, you can have a read through how I built it. I have a accompanying medium article. I've put all the code onto a GitHub repo. So you can take it and uh, um, download a copy and try it out for yourself. Um, I haven't quite yet figured out how I'm going to deploy it. Uh, I've been looking at options. Um, stay tuned. Um, and also within the same GitHub repo, uh, some of the Python notebooks that uh, explain the data set that I use to do the model training for the clap prediction, uh, both the simple linear regression, uh, but also the slightly more complicated uh, word embedding um, approach, where basically you uh, take each article and you embed it in uh, what is a very large, uh, yeah, this is it, 300 dimension um, vector and uh, try to group it that way. So look, lots more information in the article, uh, but if you want to play with the app, then you can just download it from the uh, GitHub repo and run it on your own local machine. The, if you don't want to read through the long article, uh, the app itself has a help section, or an about section actually, uh, where you can find out more details around the various metrics, uh, also a bit around the data set and the models. So uh, I had quite a lot of fun making this and hopefully this is a useful example that um, anyone starting out with uh, text analysis in Python can uh, build on. So um, I'll let you know if I deploy this somewhere, I'll update the Medium article. But uh, for now, thanks for listening and uh, till next time, bye-bye.